Hey everybody, Scott here. I hope you're having a great day. It's been a while since I've posted anything on our development projects. It's because we've had a lot of things go sideways, health and family wise. But I'm back and what we're going to do today is I'm going to summarize the entire 41st Street project. So some of the earlier videos showed the before situation and some of the cleanup. I'm just going to go through real quickly with some before and after photos and go over the budget and let you know a few things that went wrong. I apologize for the background. One of the many things that happened is we had a flood in our house. So we are in temporary quarters and at about half the size of where we were. I don't have room to put up a green screen and I'm sharing this office with my wife. So it's a lot bit cluttered. Uh, hopefully things will get fixed here. We're, we're building a new a new home for ourselves that we should be in in about six weeks. So with that said, let's take a look at 41st and I hope you can learn something. Okay, so this was the original view of the front unit from the street. This was the back unit, and you can see it's generally a mess. We actually ended up enclosing that porch, moving the front door over to under this window here on the right, but you can tell the bad condition. From the back, this is what we were dealing with. We ended up having to take 40, 40 cubic dumpsters, a total of four, out of the property. Interior, just bad shape. The door wasn't even on the frame there. Ceilings kind of collapsing. Just a lot of water damage, so we knew we had to replace the roofs. We just didn't know how bad they were going to be. This is the back unit, and this roof ended up being even worse. We had to replace some of the trusses. You can see the water damage coming through here, and then just the general bad condition. You got a hole in the door. Um, this was in the bathroom of the back unit, and this was basically how we took, uh, took control of the property. It was an absolute complete mess. All right, let's look at some of the rehab. This is all the back unit. We don't have photos of the front unit. As you can see, we had to take all the walls off, stucco everything, take it all down to the studs. Flooring was really bad. Not only did we have to replace the floors, we had to replace the, um, the subfloor and the post and pier system was rotted. You can see from this that, you know, a huge amount of wood had to go looking at all this dry rot. Um, in fact, when we did the roof, not only did we have to take the roof off, we had to replace the rafters, which is an additional cost. The work in here was so bad that um, this is just a cut wire, but we actually had wires just spliced together with no caps. Let's talk about a few things that went wrong. Our initial budget for the repairs was about 130 to 150,000, and we went over that budget by about $80,000. And let's highlight why, hoping that when you're doing a project, this will help you out. First of all, in the escrow, we did not withhold funds until the owner was out. He had 30 days to stay and was supposed to have everything cleared out. Nothing was cleared out, so we had to use four 40 cubic yard dumpsters took us a lot of labor. He was three weeks getting out late. The total cost was twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. The condition of the roof and floors in the back unit were worse than anticipated by a long shot and this was because we didn't have time to do an inspection because of the competitive bid. Both these first two items were we could have we could have solved that if we weren't in as, as competitive a bid situation. The roof and floors cost an extra twenty two thousand. The electrical and plumbing was completely not safe and it was an extra 15,000 because we had to redo everything. We enclosed the porch on the back unit for a third bedroom. That cost us about 7K, but it added extra value because we were able to rent that unit for about $400 more because we had that fourth or that third bedroom. We also found that the slope of the lot was causing rainwater to run underneath that second unit and that was what was causing a lot of the damage underneath there. So it cost us $25,000 to do that grading and the good part about that is we were, we were at the same time able to get the lot ready for the next build which will be a duplex. So with all that, that's about $80,000 over budget and those are things that could have been uh, mitigated if uh, a we had a little more experience or we had more time. So now that we've seen what went wrong, let's look at what went right and how these units turned out. Right off the bat here you can see we changed the color, stuccoed the exterior and got the new roof. The inside just came out fabulous. Here you've got brand new kitchen, LVP flooring, ceiling fans, and zoned AC and heat in each room. 
This is another view of the main room. Kitchen has a dishwasher that's unusual for this neighborhood to come equipped with a dishwasher. So we th thought that was good. Um, this was the bath redo. So we gave them a high quality bath tiled all the way up to the ceiling. Um, this is a shed out back that actually houses the washer dryer. This is also unusual for this neighborhood. So we applied zoned AC, heating, dishwasher and washer dryer. This is the back view of, this is the view of the back unit. You can see how much better that came out. This is the interior. Kitchen's kind of small. Uh, we passed that wall there. We added a third bedroom. This is the larger bedroom that had, had been there before. Once again, we completely redid the bathroom. All right, let's take a look at the meat and potatoes, the financials and valuation through the first phase of this project. Our acquisition cost purchase price was $770,000. Closing cost was $3,400. Now that's low because we paid cash so there were no loan fees. As my own agent, I made a commission of $15,400, which gave the net acquisition cost of $758,000. Our rehab and holding costs were $258,000. That includes all the repairs and the overage, as well as the cost of holding the property, property taxes, etc. So the total cost of acquisition and rehab through completion was just over a million dollars, a million fifteen call it a million sixteen with rounding. Now, currently our annual rent, both units are rented at 79,200 for the year. In the neighborhood, the gross rent multiplier runs 13 to 16, depending on the condition of the property. Newer properties with all the amenities are 16, older ones are 13. That gives us a valuation range between a million 29 and a million 267. Both are over our cost. I would argue that we're closer to the higher end of this because not only do did we basically completely rebuild these added zoned HVAC dishwashers and laundry, but we also have pre-graded for the next phase. Now phase two is where this project is really going to start to pay off. We're adding a duplex that is going to be the same design as we're using on our Marlboro project. We anticipate the cost of that to be $450,000 to $500,000 once again because we've already done the grading. So we've got a head start on that. Rents on that will be about $3,000 per unit per month, which gives us an additional $72,000 a year in gross rents. We use the same multipliers. It adds between $936,000 and $1,152,000 in in value. So we're going to end up picking up about another half million dollars of equity by doing the second phase of the project. And that's where the real profitability of this project will come in. And then we will be able to refinance it, pull our initial investment out and still have a slightly positive cash flow. At least that's the plan. I hope you got some good information out of this. I've learned a lot through the process and I hope you can learn from some of the mistakes that, that we made doing this. If you like this type of content, I promise I don't post a lot. I'm not trying to make a living off of YouTube, but if you go ahead and subscribe, then you will be able to uh, keep updated on the projects we are doing as well as monthly San Diego market updates. If you are in San Diego and looking for an investment property or thinking of selling your home, please go ahead and reach out. That is how I make my real living. And once again, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.